Okay, so to start, we're going to cover off on some of the overarching global settings. So let's go to Atom and choose Preferences. This will open up the overall preferences pane of which the core global settings are default, such as whether or not you should exclude the items that are in your version control ignore. So for instance, in a .get ignore, should you show those files in your file system or within the overarching fuzzy search that we'll find later? There's also the ability to add additional ignore files, set up your project home directory. Some of the more traditional settings, such as your standard editor config, what font would you like, what's your spacing, how would you like to set up the overall tabbing and indentation, toggling line numbers, etc. The nice thing about all of these settings is every time you make a change, it's written out to a config CSON variable. CSON stands for CoffeeScript Object Notation. So for instance, if we click on this button here that says Open Config Folder, we'll notice that all of the configs for Atom are contained within this directory. And I can simply open up the Atom CSON variable, our CSON file here, and see all of the settings for that. So for instance, if I go back here and I edit the audio beep and open back up the config variable, I'll notice that the audio beep is false. This is nice because it allows you to share these settings between multiple computers or within your team members. Now you may be looking for some more advanced settings such as how do I set this up for HTML, JavaScript spacing, etc. Atom is a very modular editor and it has actually moved all of those settings into core packages that come with Atom. So we'll dive into that a little bit further uh, in a future video to kind of set show how you can further set these up for the language specific files as well as the overarching settings within Atom.